From KTIV, Siouxland's News Channel, this is News 4 at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. Iowa State Auditor Rob Sand was in Sioux City today with a point to make. Partisanship is having an impact on the audits that he performs, and that could impact your tax dollars. Sand is Iowa's only Democrat elected to statewide office. He told members of the local Rotary Club a new law was passed by the Republican-led Iowa House and Senate. KTIV's Matt Hoffman reports. The first question Auditor Sand took Monday, how will Senate file 478 limit his office's authority? He says the bill, which awaits the governor's signature, would limit the types of documents the auditor's office could access. I think that I'm not sure that the people who are advocating this bill have really thought through it, because if they deny us access to records, we have a legal and an ethical obligation to disclose that, and then everyone is gonna be left wondering what it is that they're hiding. Under the bill, a state agency could deny a request for records. Then, the auditor's office would argue its case in front of a private arbitration panel, not a judge. Ultimately, Sand told the Rotary Club members here in downtown Sioux City that the deck would be stacked against his office if the new bill is signed because of how the appointments to the private arbitration panel are made. Bottom line is everyone understands that if you have a three-person panel where two work for the governor and one is in our office, that the odds are you're going to have a two to one decision on a pretty regular basis there. One Rotarian asked if Senate file 478 was passed because Sand is a Democrat. Sand answered yes, but added he's concerned the restriction on the auditor's office would also apply to a Republican office holder. In Sioux City, Matt Offman, KTIV News 4. Republican State Senator Mike Busolo, a sponsor of the bill, previously told the Iowa Capitol Dispatch the General Assembly has to be the watchdog of the state auditor's office. He said the assembly must ensure the auditor's office keeps Iowans' private information confidential. The 80s return.